Dozens of JCPS buildings are in really bad shape, and that's part of the reason why the school board voted to approve a property tax increase for next year's school. As Rose McBride tells us, the vote was met with some pushback. We have 156 school buildings, and 30 of those are past end of life. Building new facilities and renovating others are some reasons JCPS board member James Craig says the board approved a recent property tax increase. The most recent high school built in Jefferson County was in 1968, Ballard High School in my district. JCPS's current property tax rate is 73.6 cents per $100 of assessed property value. The seven cent increase approved by the board would bring the rate to 80.6 cents per $100 valuation, meaning if you have a $100,000 home, you will see a $70 increase in your taxes. Craig says Jefferson County property taxes are historically lower than districts in surrounding counties like Oldham. He says the state and federal government are shifting the burden of funding onto local school districts, but not everyone agrees with the decision. People are struggling and they don't need this. Teresa Camoriano started a petition to put the tax increase up for a recall at the polls in November. She doesn't believe the tax will help increase student achievement and believes people should have a say in whether their taxes go up. Well, I think that the tax hike is burdensome on the people of Louisville, especially at this time with the COVID closures and so many people out of work. Craig says he understands this is a tough time for Louisvillians, including those who attend JCPS schools. These children need these resources. Even in the middle of a public health crisis, if anything else, their needs are being exacerbated and are growing exponentially as compared to the, uh, the rest of our community. And we have to do this and we can't wait.